How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another new episode of Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. We are on the Incan gold ship. Look! Look! The king has returned! And he's much shorter! It's the king! You're safe! I'm the king? King, you're safe! Now we can set sail. It's a happy occasion. We have waited for you for such a long time. The queen is in her stateroom. Please show her that you're okay. O oh, king, looking around the ship? But I expect you're tired. Look around, then rest in this bed. Why must we flee? It is our home. The mystic statue is in this box. Preparations are being made to set sail. Well, are you going to the crow's nest? You could watch the ship set sail. It's a mystic statue! That's the first one. Through the darkness, a bright light is visible in front of the cave. As the ship set sail, the light represented the freedom we had just won. The queen is still wearing the ring she got from the king. That's right. It's the ring he gave her when they were separated by the invaders. Since then, she has thought of nothing but him. Good. You have returned safely. As you were told, until now, I've been guarding the mystic statue of the wind. That's the statue you were awarded by the spirits. It's in the jewel box in the storehouse below. Look for yourself. No, I don't already have it. I, you know, I kind of went ahead of you. Oh, short king. Look there. The ship is coming out of the cave. After living in darkness for so long, the brightness is like a new beginning. How can invaders come and destroy a world as beautiful as this? Well, I guess we'll rest. I fell into a deep sleep and was pulled inside a dream. What the? Home? Mother? Look at the sky. The comet is so beautiful. After years and years, the comet approaches Earth, then recedes. Some say it's an unlucky star. Some say it's a lucky star. What do you think? Unlucky. All right. Then hope that the bad luck doesn't come. Will, I am always watching over you. Will! Will, wake up! You were acting strange, so we followed you. Then we reached a strange town. Wait, don't call it strange. I was born there. It's invisible! I'd call that pretty strange! Will, you can't go on a journey without telling us. 
Since we're friends, we have to share good times and bad. You're back so late, the Elder must have read your fortune. He said that you were floating alone on the sea. I was so surprised. What the... This is where the Inca were standing. I found a strange jewel on board the ship. I'll give it to you. Will gets a red jewel. It's the first time I've ever given you anything. Take care of it. I was surprised! Oh, it's you, Will. Don't scare me! What? How crazy. They perished waiting for the king's return. I can't stand anything that disrupts peaceful's peaceful lives. The queen's mummy sleeps silently. There's a gold ring on her long, slender, bony finger. That ring must be one of the artifacts put on this ship. This is the most valuable of all the artifacts. Many people have lost their lives trying to get rich by finding this ring. I want the ring. It's so pretty. I really must have it. Have you no shame? You could be cursed. What? What's going on? Maybe it belongs to Riverson. In this part of the ocean, there are fish that are as dangerous as, well, sharks. What? Wah! That's Seth. It's coming from the deck. What happened to Seth? Something happened. Yeah, it's Seth. A huge, enormous, giant fish ran into the ship. <laughs> Seth fell in the water. He was he was swallowed. What was that? Ah, it's that fish again. We'll all be dessert. Stop crying and grab this, or you'll fall overboard. You've just come to? I've lost everyone. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. You recover quickly, like a lizard's tail. I've read about being adrift, but I never thought it would happen to me. Disasters sometimes happen suddenly. Don't be upset. Don't think about the future. Let's just enjoy drifting. I'm starved. I'll have the meat I bought from the castle. <laughs> we bit off some of the meat. It was better than any food we've ever had. Drifting day two. Beautiful. Even after seeing it all day, I still never get tired of it. What are you doing? The poor fish! Ah, oh, I can't telekinesis them in. Damn it, Kara, we gotta eat something. Time passed slowly, with nothing to break the monotony. Kara just stared at the fish all day. Will couldn't stand it. 
He walked around on the raft and talked to Kara many times. A minute seemed like forever, but he could hear the march of time. I have a premonition. Help is coming. What? A jar? There was a letter in the jar. The contents read, We are on a ship on our way to be sold as forced labor in an unknown land. If anyone reads this, please save us. Sam. My premonition! You said you wanted to be saved. But it's me who needs to be saved. Oh, I'm so starved. You should have caught that fish. If you had, I can't hurt such a pretty fish. Are you saying it's better to starve? Raw fish gives me the creeps. I can't eat it. Besides, the fish is fighting to stay alive. Fish feel pain. Have you ever thought of how the fish feels? If you want to eat it, go ahead. I'm not going to eat it. Kara didn't say anything all day. A typical princess. She's such a bother. Day 7. He's reached the end of his rope. If he didn't eat more, he thought he would starve. Will, sorry I talked to you that way yesterday. I'll try to eat the fish. I can't do anything if I starve. Only in peacetime can you refuse food you don't like. Let's catch a fish. A good one. Happily, Kara ate some fish. Will found he was starting to develop feelings for Kara. Day 12. The stars are beautiful. If I were taller, I could reach them. Surely Lily and Lance are looking at the same star-studded sky. If I could talk to the stars, I could find out where everyone is. There seems to be one extra star near the constellation of Cygnus. Yes, that red star. Shall we make a wish upon that star? I have a feeling it'll come true. Will, you close your eyes, too. I hope for everyone's safety. And for my father. We've been adrift for almost three weeks now. Hasn't your hair gotten a little long? <laughs> Just a little. Kara doesn't act like a spoiled princess now. If you told someone she was one of the island girls, no one would doubt it. It's terrible! Where? What is that? They're in the water! Maybe a shark? We could be eaten! What should we do? They're circling our raft, but they're not attacking! Let's think about this. I got it! They're not hungry! My grandpa told me that only humans attack living things when they're not hungry. That what we're doing is not usual behavior. We didn't eat fish until we were starving. That's right, they're going. Goodbye, sharks.
Day 21. When I was in the castle, I loved watching the sunset. The sunset was so beautiful from the corridor of the castle. But now I've come to hate it. After the sun has set, the darkness comes. I thought I'd never cease the sunrise again. But since you're with me, I see a beautiful sunrise every morning. With you by my side, I can even enjoy times like these. I've wanted to say the same things to you, but somehow the words just wouldn't come out. I just nodded, saying nothing. Suddenly, Will fell over, unconscious. Will! Will! What's wrong? Wake up! Don't leave me here alone! You can wake him up now. He'll be fine if he takes vitamin C. It's scurvy, a disease caused by a long-term lack of vitamin C. Hmm. Columbus's crew contacted it once. Nothing to worry about. When it gets worse, the blood gets bad and skin turns black. The gums bleed and the body starts decaying. Stop! I didn't want to listen to such talk. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. But you know best. Thank you. You should thank the dog outside. He found your raft and came to get me. Will! Will! Wake up! We've reached land! We're saved! Uh... Kara? Where am I? We're at the home of the kind man who saved us. You've been tossing in your sleep. I kept putting the blankets on you, but you threw them off. This is the south outskirts of Oakton. The city of Frigia is half a day to the north. If you're looking for your friend, you should look in a big town. You should thank the dog outside. He found your raft and came to get me. At any rate, let's go to Frigia. I'm going to thank the dog. Come back when you're ready. Red Jewel! Dog. Woof woof! This dog's name is Turbo. Isn't he cute? Well, let's go. Maybe we'll see Lily, Lance, and Eric. So they went to Phrygia. The city of Phrygia. Oh, it's nice! What a great city! People who live in such a pretty place must have beautiful hearts. What a cute couple! Have you decided where you're staying tonight? No, not yet. We're looking for someone. Well, well, why not base your search here? It's settled. I'm exhausted. Don't you like it, Will? Let's go. This is the hotel. Let's go in. Well, come in. Come in. Will and Kara? Lily! Is it Lily? I was worried! It's been almost a month since we separated. I've been working and living at this hotel. Lance is in the room on the right. Go in there. Lance is in the room on the right. I'm glad everyone is safe, but... They say I don't know who I am. Kinda strange. If I don't know who I am, how did I get here? Lance hit his head escaping from the Incan ship. The doctor said that he has temporary amnesia. Meanwhile, I think Lance should stay here until he recovers. Also, I haven't seen Eric since last night. 
I wonder what's happened. Well, let's start exploring the city of Phrygia. Ha ha ha! You understand this place. Sometimes what you think is unimportant is the most important thing. Life is like that. This is a gift. Please take it. The old man secretly put something in Will's bags. Ah, red jewel. We should find gem. That's actually one of the trickier ones to find. I'm not like a tor it's not like a tornado came through here. Maybe you'd be more comfortable in a place not so quite so neat. It's locked from the inside. The upstairs is a mess. I'm ashamed. He had something in his eye. <laughs> She was, uh, just helping me. <laughs> I guess I interrupted. <laughs> that didn't take them long. You can't see them in the window up there. <laughs> the Phrygia is the city of flower. It smells good, doesn't it? Listen to me carefully. You'd better not go on the back streets. Just as a rose has thorns, a pretty town has another side. I am the jeweler gem. I control the seven seas. I'm holding eight of the red jewels for you. You've collected over eight jewels. According to the list, your life power will be raised. Your strength is raised by one give you red jewels. There are now 12 jewels in the room. You've collected over 12 jewels. According to your, the list, your strength will be raised. Your attack power is raised by one. So where are we at on the list here? See your inventory. I will give you goods for your jewels as written on the list. So next up is a psycho power boost at 20. go back to the inn for a minute before I forget about this. Unfortunately, I also have to admit, there's one, 13. This town has... Uh, one of the more unpleasant red jewels to acquire. We'll get to that. Mothers are always worrying about things. I was afraid you'd been kidnapped by someone or had been wounded. My mother suffered like that. A life lived honestly. A life of fun and laughter. Where'd he go? Ah, here we go. Place to save. I don't believe in the spirits. If there were spirits, things like status wouldn't matter. I've tried not to think. The more I think, the more empty I become. Soon we will be sent away.
Soon a great power will come from above. Then mankind will die out. I don't know who made the prediction, but it's all a lie. I do this to forget. When I think of myself in your position, I shudder. I have no time to worry about what people think. It's hard enough just taking care of myself. These laborers are the same age as you. Remember, they are people everywhere who live this way. Hey boy, kids can't come here. Go home, go home. Or did you come to get a laborer? Yeah. I like your courage. You don't know what you'd do here, but have a look around. I am Imus. I was brought here by boat from far off Asia. We are a hunting tribe. When we're hungry, we hunt for food. All of the animals here have fallen victim to an unknown disease. I am Remus. Our game disappeared and we had nothing to eat. We had no choice but to become laborers. We didn't know where we would be taken or what would happen. I am Sam. We were rescued last night by a man named Eric who was working at the hotel, but we were caught by the labor traders. He's being held in a house on the corner of the back street in town. Please save him. A man working at the hotel was caught by a labor trader. That's no good. Ah, that was... Damn, I missed something I needed to do. No one can put on a show like I can. Have a look. He's apparently good at setting his head on fire. There was nothing he could do about being found. He's the laborer who ran away yesterday. I should tell the labor traders. I was prepared for the worst when I did it. Please, don't tell. I don't care about myself. I just don't want to get him in trouble. A laborer escaped. Have you seen him? Yes. Tell me where he is and I'll give you this red jewel. This is the one. This is the one I hate doing. Thank you. Here's a present. Please accept it. Even if you lie, he doesn't give you the jewel, if I remember right. You have to tell him. But... If you don't want to lose your lives, go home. Is a man called Eric there? I've never heard of such a name. Why do you ask? Is that Will's voice? Will, save me! Bonk. Shh! Hey, boy, be quiet! I'll break down the door. Impossible! You've come to rescue me! I didn't think you could break down the door. The man ran away, scared. I tried to sneak into the camp to rescue three laborer brothers. I was discovered, and now I'm like this. The laborers were forced to work in the diamond mine. I'll tell you where. Please save them. Will learns the location of the mine. It's good to be among friends again. 
If only I wasn't so sad. My tears have all been cried. Well, I guess we're off to the diamond mines. We'll at least get a little action in before we have to wrap this episode up. The diamond mine was as quiet as a tomb. A chill ran down Will's spine when he heard the screams from the back of the cave. Almost half my life in two hits. Well, this isn't off to a good start. We needed that early. Okay, note to stealth, the things in here hit like a Mack truck. Elevator entrance. Use that door to get to the elevator. I beg you, cut this chain! There are eight laborers, including me, forced to work in the mine. Please, save us! Okay, Mr. Green Beard Dude. care of those two. Two, thank you for saving me. As a reward, I'll tell you something. This mine has a secret room. Its entrance blends into the wall, but you can find it by watching for wind blowing through cracks in the wall. Of course, it would blow fine hair like yours around. Then you'll understand. Just in time. Go ahead, keep trying to shoot me. I'll kill you instead. You found an herb! to do that. Here 
Your strength is increased. That makes this a little easier. Your defense has increased. Well, this is about as good of a spot as any to go ahead and wrap this episode up. As always, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and favorite. Throw any feedback you may have into the comments below, as I always look forward to hearing from you. And we'll see you again next time on another new episode of Let's Play The Illusion of Gaia. Farewell.